Hey, this is Nicolette, creator of Clever with Canva, and today I would like to show you how to create your ebook inside of Canva in three easy steps. So the first thing you want to do is to create a brand kit and a mood board for yourself. I'll include a link below where you can find my templates, which I share in my Clever with Canva resource library. And then what you'll do is you'll just slot in all these pieces and start adding in your mood board elements. So basically images, those kinds of things that you want your ideal client to associate and feel when they're interacting with your ebook. And the reason why you want to go about creating your mood board and your brand kit first is because it's going to help you save a lot of time once you're inside of Canva and you start creating your design. Once you've done this, you want to add your brand elements inside of your Canva brand. Now, if you don't have the Canva for work, this is what the Canva for work will look like. And so what you will come in is you will come and add a new palette. I'm going to base this ebook off of a project that I created earlier this year called the Lavender Room. So I'm going to add in here Lavender Room ebook. And then what I can do is just add in my colors right in here. What you would also want to do is if your ebook fonts and things that you're selecting, so see how this one is Montessori Light and Montessori Hairline. If that is going to be different than what you would normally choose for your overall branding and for your website, I would recommend adding them in here and you, these guys would move down to the rest of the tin that you had, but at least then when you're inside of your document and you're editing, they're going to be easily accessible and right underneath here so you don't have to scroll and then once you're done you can always change them back to your top three for your website if you're using canva personal it's going to look a little bit different so what i recommend you do is there is an option for you to go into your brand with canva personal and you can add up to three brand colors and these are not going to be available for you adding your fonts and logos um, unless you upgrade. But at least adding these in here is going to help you save a little bit of time. When you're in your designs, you'll notice that they are going to be right at the top and make designing a whole lot easier for you. So all of that is grouped basically just under getting your branding right. And you definitely want to know your branding first before you go in to design your template. You also want to make sure that you've already created the content for your ebook so that the only thing you need to worry about when you are in Canva is how to actually designing your ebook template. So let's look at the options that we have available for us and I'm going to do this in the Canva personal. The options are exactly the same as they would be if you were using Canva for work. So you're going to go to the plus sign over here, you're going to select that and you're going to scroll down until you find the category blocking and ebooks. You're going to select ebook design and now you'll notice on the left hand side that there is a few layouts that you can choose. The great thing is then when you hover over it, you'll be able to see that there's four page layouts in the different designs. That's going to make creating and designing your ebook a whole lot easier. So you'll go through these and you'll select an option. I click on it to expand it and it'll show you the options. If there isn't four available, it won't have that option to expand. Also, if you're creating your ebook, you might want to go for one that's free, but if it's not available and you're choosing one that is paid, um, I'll give you a few tips for how to approach that too. So let's say that we love this bridal layout and we're going to select the cover. We're going to add a new page and we're going to select page two, page three, page four. So now I'm just going to minimize it. We already have four pages. So the next step is for you to come in and personalize your template. Now you already know what your font what your fonts are going to be, 
what your colors are going to be and you already know the style of photography that you want to use. What you'll do now is you will start bringing in those images and personalizing your ebook. And you'll notice that the colors that we added, brand colors for this is Canva Personal, is going to be right at the top. Now you'll go through, you'll change your font. So for me, if I were using Montessorit, I would scroll to Montessorit in Canva Personal and select it through the drop down. I'd adjust the sizing. Okay, so with most of these, you'll just be able to drag your images in, and it's really simple to personalize. And then what you'll do is you'll copy these. You'll basically want the same look and feel all throughout your ebook. So what you might want to do is select these guys and move them up and then just move your text down. That way it's the same style, but you're just flipping that concept. So see how you can play off of what's already working. Perhaps you want to do the same here. And so what you do is you just select all of it, just like that and then you select your image and you pull that down. This is just a really rough idea. I just wanna give you a few more tips. Number one is if you've selected a, a layout that you have to pay for, what I recommend you do is once you've personalized it and you, maybe you wanna print it out to check for errors or to see how it will all come together. What you do is you hit download and you go through the steps to download the, the design and then Canva is going to ask you a few questions. It's going to tell you exactly what you're paying for. So it's a dollar an item and it's going to ask you how you would like to go about purchasing your design. Before you go through those steps, what I recommend is there's an option over here that says download a watermarked draft. You don't want to pay for this and then change your mind later. So what I recommend you do is just iron out all the kinks before you pay for it. And then once you've paid for it, you have 24 hours to make changes and to keep re-downloading that image in that 24 hour period. Okay, so that's one tip. The second tip that I want to give you is even though you can mix and match designs, I recommend that you stick with the theme. So if this is your theme, and you're changing out your images, it's going to be a whole lot easier for you to have that same consistent vibe all across your document if you stick to the same theme. So what you can do is how I showed you earlier in terms of how you can just go with the design but make a few changes. So moving things around, maybe adding that little bit of a border, or what you could do is have this image run all through the back, but then make it transparent so that that text would still pop. Just take out that gold. So this is just one suggestion. And then just keep duplicating those. The cheaper option is going to be just to go with the layouts that's free and just to see how you can tweak those. And then tip number three is just a reminder not to stick with more than three fonts. I see this all the time. It's just visually going to complicate your design and make it overwhelming for your reader. You'll see that a lot of good designs will usually use no more than three fonts. If you go through the Canva layouts, there's three in this document. Let's go and select a different one just to compare. So we'll go back to the bridal one and the cover. So we've got Voga, Lato, Lato, and Lato Italics. Okay, and then here is Lato. Okay, so there's two in this document. It just keeps things a whole lot easier. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope that that gets you super excited about how to approach your ebook 
using Canva and using Canva's really great templates that I that they have for you. If you're looking for even more tips to create your ebook in Canva, be sure to download the seven simple steps to creating your ebook in Canva checklist right below this video to help walk you through the exact process that I recommend you do when you create your ebook in Canva. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Bye.